Hey guys! So, like I promised, I'm gonna go ahead and do my How to Train Your Dragon collection video. I had originally planned to do this video with me actually on camera, but I'm just kinda not feeling it today. So, we're gonna go ahead and dive right in, and I'm gonna show you guys what I have. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with things that are outside of my bedroom. Um, well, outside of my closet, I guess. Um, <laughs> and the first thing I have is this really nice, um, super huge, um, hiccup and toothless blanket from How to Train Your Dragon 2. Uh, this is a really nice throw and I just keep it on top of my comforter. Then I have this um, blanket from the first movie. It's just really nice and it's really old and I used to take it with me on trips whenever we would leave the country or something so it's I love this blanket. It's totally awesome. And then I also have a toothless pillow pet. Um, this pillow pet was a gift for my birthday um, several years back because people are very aware that I collect How to Train Your Dragon stuff. So yeah, this is all I've got on my bed. Moving on to my desk, right now I've got this little tin that um, one of my friends got me for Valentine's Day and it says you light my fire and it's got candy in it right now because it came with candy but I'm using it as a trinket box too. I'm kind of trying to slowly get rid of the candy so that I can actually keep it as a trinket box. And then up here, um, I have a cup that I got from the How to Train Your Dragon Live Arena Spectacular. And this cup is just so cool and I love it so much, but I'm using it to like hold pens or trinkets or whatever. Um, and it's just really cute. It's got some really good detail on Toothless looking into the cup and I just love it. All right, so then next I've got a lanyard. This lanyard was available at Hot Topic, and that's where I picked it up. It's got toothless all along the lanyard itself, and then it comes with a little foam toothless charm. It's kind of squishy. And then it also comes with um, this card holder thing. And then this right here is a badge that um, a friend got for me at an anime convention. Moving on to some plushies that I have on a chair. I've got this Toothless, which um, <laughs> is a gift from the same friend. Um, and she got this little Night Fury um, button and she made a really cute bow and I just never took it off because I think it's really cute on him. So he's just really cute. And then I have a bear wearing the How to Train Your Dragon hoodie and next to him is a smaller Toothless plush. And these are the only plushes I think I have on here that are toothless. Um, this isn't technically a How to Train Your Dragon item. This is a Viking helmet that we got for one of my birthday parties. And yeah, this is from Party City. Here we have my miniature figure collection. I've got the Astrid and the Hiccup toothless, um, another toothless, and Stormfly from the mini Funkos. And then I've got Meat Lug, Stormfly, a small Stormfly, Barf and Belch, Hook Fang, a whole ton of Toothlesses back there, Terrible Terror, a bunch of Toothlesses. They came out with so many Toothlesses, it's kind of like, dang. Cloud Jumper, the Bewilderbeast, Skull Crusher, and then I have this um, Action Dragon Skull Crusher. Underneath it, I have the um, Shooter. A giant toothless that originally came with like it had a blue light and like smoke or something but I never actually got it working so he just kind of sits there um then I have my toothless bank and I've got some change in there probably actually gonna empty it soon and then I have the first action dragon toothless that I got and it was one of the first to come out and then I have the um, hiccup on top this isn't really technically a piece but um, this is the the print that I made with the Dragon Mania opening artwork. Um, I made one of these and gave one of these to each of my friends. So it's, I'm just really proud of <laughs> that artwork. Um, but so I got it framed. Okay, I have a print here that I picked up at an anime convention. And it's just got Hiccup and Toothless. And then I've also got the How to Train Your Dragon 2 movie poster. This actually came when I was building my build a Toothless. Alright, so here's where things get crazy. <laughs> these drawers, all three of these, are um, filled 
with how to train your dragon and stuff and it's all my collection and I have a lot to go through so we're gonna dive right into it I've got different little pieces hanging around here and there and I've got some stuff over at the apartment this is my parents house and my parents house is where I keep my collection so oh boy okay let's get into this let's go okay so first off I've got this really nice how to train your dragon backpack um, I take this backpack generally to anime conventions because it's not too big, it's not too small, it is honestly the perfect size. So I really love that backpack. Alright, so we're going to start at shelf 1. This is the overview of the shelf itself. And most of the shelf contains either rare items or items that are just um, sentimental and nostalgic because they're like the first ones that I bought in my collection. So yeah, we're going to break it down. Um, so I have, I'm going to move some stuff, I don't want to like ruin my shelf so I'm just going to like slowly be taking this down, but um, the first thing I have in the back here is the How to Train Your Dragon art book. This was a gift from uh, my cousin who, she is so awesome, she gets the best birthday presents, like if there's a birthday present that you want and you know you're not going to get it from anybody else, you tell her and she's going to get it for you because she's super super cool and uh, anyway so this is from her and she also got me this um, this is by uh, someone that she works with he's an artist and he made me this personalized one-of-a-kind um, print and I just love it so much it's so cute and I love getting stuff like this it's just so nice and it really warms my heart it's got his signature there and it's just a really cute art piece. I love to have art that has get, have been made just for me. It's so nice and special and it makes me feel so happy. Okay, so in the back I have a small poster that came with one of my How to Train Your Dragon books by the original author. And then I have my bow. This is the bow that I wore for my birthday party when I had my How to Train Your Dragon birthday. And back there is the how to Train Your Dragon um, combo pack of this is like I don't know what that is. It's a racing guide, but I think you open it and they you have like paper airplane kind of dragons or something. So I never opened it. It's still in its packaging because I don't want to open it. I like to keep things in their packaging. In the back, I have the original How to Train Your Dragon movie. This is the very first um, copy of this movie I ever bought. This movie has been loaned out so many times which is kind of why I bought a second copy um, because this one is the first one and then I have the How to Train Your Dragon 2 um, Blu-ray and DVD combo pack next I have the Hallmark keepsake ornament um, it is in its box I can take it out of its box to show you but it is in the box and this was the last one in the entire city so my sister is so great cause she went to out and called like every hallmark in our city to go find it and that was so awesome of her I love her so much um, so yeah I have that and then I have this really squishy toothless he's a bat toy he came in a set of three so he's really cute I have these really nice custom made charms and figure from my sister she made me a sleeping sleeping toothless He's really cute. And then she made me a toothless necklace. Also very, very cute. Okay, moving on to something that I actually moved out of the way. Um, this is my How to Train Your Dragon 2 Final Battle Toothless. This is a uh, Comic Con exclusive and this was sent to me. So yeah, I never reviewed this even though I said I would. Um, so. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so that's my 2014 Comic-Con exclusive. Um, I have the original How to Train Your Dragon CD. The CD is actually not in here. I keep it with me, like, all the time. And then the How to Train Your Dragon 2 CD. This is the booklet version, so it comes with art and the words and trivia and all kinds of fun stuff. And then here's something that is really freaking cool. Okay, I'm so excited. Um, this is the How to Train Your Dragon book one in Chinese. Um, my sister 
uh, her friend had gone to China and he brought this back for me and it's like so cool like this is the coolest thing and it's all in Chinese so there's like no way I can read it see okay so moving on to the second shelf this is the overview of it on this shelf I have the grab bag dragons and yeah they're just way, way easier to just hang up so they're out of the way I have the pop Funko um, collection from how to train your dragon 2 the own oh, I'm missing one I am missing barf and belch and the reason that I'm missing them is because I couldn't find them anywhere um, and I do prefer to find buy my pop Funkos in person because if there's any like mishaps on the paint job you know it's easier to get better figures in person like that so and then I have the box from the uh, vinyl minifigures I have a squishy meat lug and a squishy storm fly okay um, next I have a bunch of books and things this is a school supply set with an eraser folder, pencil, pencil case, like notebooks. It's got a bunch of stuff. It's a stationary kit. Very nice. Next, I have more books. <laughs> I have a coloring book with Astrid and Stormfly. And this came with crayons. And I absolutely love this picture of them. They're really, really cute. I have a poster of Astrid. This is just a poster. <laughs> um, and then I have the actual um, storybook, Tale of Dragons. I have another poster. This one is of Toothless, or on the other side is... Wrong way. My bad. On the other side of this poster is actually Hiccup's map. And this is just really nice to have. I've had a lot of people ask me... On Instagram where I got this and uh, this came inside a book and I will show you which book it came inside of okay so that poster actually came from this book and it's entitled dragons and it's a guide to dragons and this is just really neat um, it talks about all the types of dragons that you know from the first movie and it includes a couple from the first series It's got all kinds of trivia and stuff and it's really neat this is I love this book because it helped me prove to someone that um, cloud jumper wasn't his um, breed he was a storm cutter and cloud jumper is his name so this book is great because it helps me prove a point um, next I have these two um, jumbo coloring books honest to goodness cannot figure out why I've got two. I am very careful with my collection in trying to make sure I don't get doubles of something because I don't have the space for doubles and I don't really like them so I don't know how I ended up with two versions of the same book so if I ever have a giveaway um, again with dragons one of these is probably gonna be in there <laughs> next I've got this cute little Build-A-Bear gift card holder that my sister got for me for when I went to go build my Build-A-Bear Toothless and I actually have two of them. We have three of them all together. One for me, one for her, and one that I'm saving. It's just a skin. <laughs> um, and then I've got the Dragons Defenders of Burke Part 1. Um, part 2 went missing. <laughs> so I may just have to go out and buy another. I don't know. But I do have Part 1. I've also got some candy from... How to Train Your Dragon 2 promotional items. I've got the Ring Pop, the Bottle Pop, and the Push Pop. And then I've also got this um, Toothless How to Train Your Dragon 2 um, bracelet. I've got this really cool figure. This is actually a cake topper and he can swivel any which way that you want him to and it's really neat. Yeah, I found Originally, I wanted this cake topper and I found it online, but it was like $50 and I was like, are you crazy? And then I went to a grocery store and they had it and I was like, hey, can I just buy this from you? And they were like, yeah, sure, it's five bucks. And I was like, heck yeah. So 
I bought this for five bucks and I went after I bought it I went back online to see if the one that was fifty dollars went down and I still found it but it was twenty six dollars so um, I know you can find it now for cheaper and stuff but I'm really glad that I didn't have to pay much for it and it's really fun to mess with Whee. moving on I've got these collectors trading cards here these come with stickers and I have my favorite one up top Makeup and Toothless and then Astrid Stormcutter these are just they contain movie scenes and characters tattoos and stickers they're really nice really cool but I'm not gonna collect them all because I lived that life with Yu-Gi-Oh and cards and it's just <laughs> not worth it <laughs> I've got two cups here that are pretty much filled with goodies, but before I show you what's in there, I'm going to show you these gummies, which are literally old. Do not eat. Do not eat. These are from the original How to Train Your Dragon movie, and they were eight gummy pieces. These are from like 2010. So these things are five years old. Do not eat. <laughs> but I got them because collector collector's item and I really love original How to Train Your Dragon stuff because Hiccup is so cute. He's adorbs. Anyway, um, I also have this. Um, it's for a certain pair of headphones, um, but they got it for me anyway and my sister was like, we could probably make this work for any headphones, but I don't mind just keeping it here and the packaging is a collector's item. So, that's really cool. Okay, so in this first one is a green cup with Snotlout, Hookfang, Toothless, and Hiccup. And these were the party favors. Everything in here was the party favors for my How to Train Your Dragon um, birthday back when I turned 20, maybe? Yeah, okay, um, <laughs> anyway. So here is what I've got. I've got this, which is one of those blowy thingies. We've got a giant sticker. A bookmark. This is like the kind of bookmarks you would get at book fair, so it's actually a quality bookmark. I'm surprised. Um, the push pop again, so that means I've got more than one, but doubles, whatever. A yo yo. I don't know. I think, oh, it's not it. <laughs> and then a tattoo. So, all of these were the party favors for. Um, my How to Train Your Dragon birthday, which I have a link to below if you want to check that out. Moving on, um, this is another cup with Hiccup and Toothless looking at their map. This one's really, really cute. Um, inside, I have this sheet of stickers. So those are nice. I have the How to Train Your Dragon band-aids. I have a Made For Me custom toothless um, loom thing. Um, these were really popular like last year and I don't really see them too much anymore but for a while these were really popular and I knew this girl and she made me a toothless and she was awesome. Um, so yeah, that's that's all I have in that one. Okay, moving on to the last shelf. This is my miscellaneous shelf. Um, this contains just all kinds of stuff that I don't really care to keep on display too much because it's at the bottom so not a lot of people like see it that well um, so yeah okay I've got another tin that was from Valentine's Day this was a present super awesome um, more Valentine's I gave these out um, this year and I still have a ton left but um, they came with lollipops and they've got these really nice designs and it's just really cute I really liked those and then they also had these and these came with stickers they also had ones that came with um, like like cards and then another one that came with tattoos I picked the one that came with stickers because my parents were like you seriously don't need to buy all three so I didn't because I had already gotten those two so um, or my sister had gotten these picked them up for me um, so yeah these I got both of them <laughs> They got a lot of stuff for Valentine's Day this year, and unfortunately, it literally came at a time when I could not afford to be buying 
and um, con season was coming up and it was just crazy. So um, we'll go ahead and start dissecting this drawer. I have a toothless plushie that he originally came with candy, but I had to throw the candy away because it went bad. Um, same for this Stormfly. These were both gifts um, for Valentine's Day from friends and family. So you just just chill out there. That'll work. Um, I have Hiccup's helmet. You can get his entire outfit for um, Halloween. Um, but it is for kids. They have him and Astrid and Astrid's axe, but all of it's for kids. And I was really surprised that my face actually fits into this, and it does. So that's awesome. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, there's like a whole bunch of crap in here. Um, and then I have the entire set of the Frisbees that came in the McDonald's Happy Meals. I'm still really disappointed we didn't get what everybody else got, but oh well, it happens. Um, this is a meat lug that was given to me by a friend. She's so sweet. Um, it's a friend that, you know, you have those people where it's like they're so sweet and they don't need to do stuff, but she bought this for me for my birthday and she literally doesn't know, she, all she knew was that I liked How to Train Your Dragon. And so she went out and got um, one of these and she said she didn't know if I liked this dragon or not, but she just found it and she knew that I like How to Train Your Dragon, so she got it for me for my birthday. And it's so cute. <laughs> So, I do love Gronkles. Um, anyway, I've got this. This poor toothless has been... This is the toothless that you crank and you launch and he flies. And this thing has been... is so broken, it's crazy. Because my cousin and I had a blast with this. Um, so, yeah. In this bag, um, I'm debating on opening it. I don't really want to, so I don't think I'm going to. But as you can see, it's got cups and it's actually just full of the leftover party supplies from my How to Train Your Dragon birthday. Um, I have cups and I have plates. I have um, just cute little things that came with uh, the accessories to set up and decorate and tablecloth. It's nuts. Uh, so I'm not going to take all that out because I literally keep it at the back so nobody can see it. I'm so shameful. Um, I have a giant pen. Nothing special. I have a ornament. It's a bubble ornament, and then at the top it's got a toothless figure. I have the grab and go play pack. I have um, just the side of the box that came with the Defenders of Burke toothless, because I really like that art. I have this bubble soap from Toothless. A lot of stuff also came out during Christmas time, and I couldn't buy any of it for myself, so I'm missing a ton of merchandise, a wave of merchandise from December 2014 that I just couldn't afford to because of one, it being Christmas time and I had to buy presents and also I just really, I was in the middle of moving um, to a, an apartment and leaving home and switching schools and it was a mess so I stopped collecting um, for a while and I'm still kind of on hiatus right now. Um, but anyway, I have some dragon stickers. I actually have two of these. And then I've got this, and this is the little blanket that I have on my bed. And this is just the little thing that came with it. I kept it there. I'm not sure why. <laughs> why I do have the things I do. Um, okay, and then we're going to look in this bag. Oh dear, here we go. Okay, so inside, what do I even have in here? Guys, it's been so long since I've gone through my collection. I don't even know what I have anymore. Okay, so this is the glowy, smoky part for Toothless that I never put in him because I'm lazy. I've got some pens or... Oh, no, they're markers. I've got some markers. I've got some balloons. Some How to Train Your Dragon Party Balloons. I have, oh okay, I have the um, entire set of the cupcake rings that you can get to put on cupcakes. I have, going, oh, okay, yeah, I know what this is. Okay, I have fabric, um, and I actually bought a ton of this fabric, and the reason that I bought this was because I was planning on making a pillow out of it, but I just never had the time to do it um, so I just have a bunch of fabric here <laughs> rolled up but it's nice fabric I really like it 
the pictures are really cute. They actually had two versions of the fabric and I only got this one I think because I didn't really like the other one. Okay, I have instructions for my tubeless. I have some birthday cards. I'm doing this all one handed so it's like what? Oh, okay. I have a card that I got um, actually for myself uh, for my birthday. And there's a keychain here. And the keychain's gone and it's actually in my car. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday to me because I bought that for myself. I even bought myself an envelope. Why I do the things I do, I'll never truly understand. The resident nerd. To the resident nerd of the house. How rude. Becky. Oh my gosh. You little butt. And then here is the birthday card she got me. And it's got this toothless in it. Happy birthday. The resident nerd. To the resident nerd of the house. So rude. So rude. Anyway, I've got some tattoos here. And then this is the last thing I've got. I've got literally a package full of little mazes. <laughs> I don't I don't understand. Some stickers that have been used. And I think we're good. And then the bag that I was using to hide all this junk. So, okay. We are nearing the end. The next thing I have is this toothless that flaps his wings and this set of like a bath set thing that I got and I'm saving. So, yeah. All right guys, so there it is. Um, that is my How to Train Your Dragon collection. There are a couple things that I didn't include because they're not here, they're at the apartment. Um, and I may or may not insert footage because this video is super duper long. So yeah, um, to everyone who's been watching my videos and they started because of my How to Train Your Dragon stuff and they're still watching today, uh, thank you guys, it means a lot to me. Um, if you'd like to see more How to Train Your Dragon content, just kind of, you know, let me know. Because I have kind of switched over to just being an anime kind of thing now. Uh, so just kind of let me know, but I still love How to Train Your Dragon. My love's not going to cease at all anytime soon. Um, but yeah, right now my collection has reached maximum capacity, so I really can't afford to um, buy much more unless I absolutely need it until I have the space for it. So yeah, that is oh, So yeah, that is pretty much everything. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're curious about anything else in my room, check out my room tour because that's also a thing. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next video. Bye.